Hi guys, we are officially starting the Ireland vlogs. It's Friday um, and it's about to be 1 p.m. pretty soon and that's when I am going to be getting in the car and leaving but I wanted to show you my outfit. I'm wearing a cute little hat from um, my elders nonprofit and I've got this sweater on and some comfy pants and some socks from Target. Um, and here is my suitcase, super packed and all filled up. I think I have everything I need. And then these are the shoes I'm gonna wear and my jacket, my coat. And then this is my backpack I'm bringing plus my purse. So kind of have a lot of items to carry, I guess. Um, I'm like bummed that I have to carry my coat, but it is cold, so it's best to plan for that, just in case. Um, so, yeah, I have everything I think I need. Um, and I'm charging my iPad, and I'm just ready to go, and I'm gonna pack this up right now, and zip it. Oh my god, I'm screaming. Literally, I'm here! Oh my god, I'm in the hotel. Um, and I just, I had to immediately take a shower, you guys, because all those flights, I, I have stories to tell. I had to walk up the biggest flight of stairs in my entire life, and I was so sweaty, so I really had to change. But look at my cute outfit. I have a nice big coat on, because it's cold. I got my camera underneath. Um, I have a long sleeve and my new loafers. And I'm just, my hair is super wet. My hair takes forever to dry, so I'm just leaving it up. I haven't shown the hotel yet, um, the room. I just came in and just like, yeah, like just went ham on getting all my stuff out. Um, but I'm gonna go get dinner and get street food. So I just made a reservation for myself. Um, but anyways, all in all, you saw some of my travel. The first flight was good. It was hard for me to sleep though, so that was kind of a struggle because I wanted to sleep so bad. Um, I did fall asleep, but it wasn't good sleep. Like, And I would only say I probably slept like a third of the flight and it was like 10 hours. Um, Anyways, when we got to Germany, first of all, I didn't even think about the fact that there would be snow. Duh, it's December. Like, it snows in different parts of the world. I'm just a California girl through and through, and that's why I'm titling this video, California Girl in a Dublin World, because it's so, ah, 
it's I'm already having a great time um, but there was snow in Germany then I got off the little train to go connecting to my gate and there was the biggest escalator and it was not working it was dead and so I was like screw it and I just walked all the way up it and I do jujitsu you guys you know I show you that on here but I was winded but let the record show that I did not stop on a single stair I kept moving the entire time and I was <laughs> I have asthma too so that doesn't help but I was breathing so heavy and the guy behind me when we finally got up to the top he looked at me and said something in German and was like kind of laughing and I just laughed and I was like I have no idea I didn't tell him anything but I was like he's maybe asking are you okay or like that was ridiculous right so I just laughed but that was I'm like oh do I pass for like a German <laughs> um, but anyways the second flight there were babies galore around me right when I'm like talking so much about being child free it is so nice to be a child free traveler let me tell you like parents be going through it for sure and I was feeling for these moms who were doing their best and that's all we can ever ask for in this world um, but I've been learning Irish on Duolingo. I showed you some of me doing Irish on the plane and I recognized one word on a sign and it was August, which is and. <laughs> That's all I got for you. That's all I got. Um, anyways, my hotel is super cute, really nice. I'll give you a peek because I have some time to kill. But look at this little um, like corner. I think this is a fridge yes and look oh my god a kettle we love it and a nespresso machine that's crazy so cute no wine for me um and then this like closet thing it's looking adorable but anyways i'm just letting my charge uh, my phone charge as much as i possibly can i don't think i'm gonna bring my camera um so yeah some stuff is just gonna be filmed on my um on my iPhone because that's just easier for me and yeah and like with this I can try my darndest to try to hide it you know I would I just gotta adjust the strap so I'll probably do that once I get off um, but yeah and also I was showing you on the plane that I got my nails done if it will focus um, I'm having like trouble like finding out how to focus with this camera. It's new to me. So anyways, I got little snowflakes. I'll put a picture if it doesn't come up well. But I got snowflakes and peppermint and I'm so glad I treated myself for that for this trip. So I'll check in with you guys later. I got ooh, some chocolate from Butler's Chocolate Cafe um, because it was the only thing that wasn't a pub that was open <laughs> that I saw besides H&M. Um, and I got a gift. I think I'm going to give it to my dad because I realized that he's never had chocolate outside of the United States, I'm pretty sure. But since I asked for Marco's recommendation, he gave me a free little sampler. Um, so I'm going to try it. Ooh, it's really hard. But it's chai. That was the one that I really wanted to try. It's really good. European chocolate is like eons better than American chocolate. In my experience. Oh. Yeah, that's really good. But anyways, I'm going to go off to dinner now.
Your monthly piece from Elvis, please. Uh, thank you, Texture. Good to hear from you. It is a wild morning in Carthony, says Siobhan. Good morning and welcome along and listening in stormy Clonakilty as well. We're hearing from the West Coast, Crystal and Jen. It's always good to hear from you, Sean, listening in Roscommon. Good morning. Hiya, Jen. Nice to hear from you as well. And Angelo, good morning as well. All listening, all texting. You're right away. Good morning. Welcome along. The battle. Good morning, guys. It's really early. It's six o'clock in the morning. Um, I went to bed really early last night, though. I took um, I took off all my clothes and got really comfy, cozy, and um, took some medicine and fell asleep at a really reasonable hour um and yeah it's sunday and it's forecasted to rain today it says like 95 percent chance so that's why i brought my umbrella <laughs> um and my plans for today i have a food tour at 11 30 um and so i don't want to eat that much beforehand I will eat something though because I'm one of those people that if I don't eat before I'm supposed to have a lot of food I will eat less so I kind of need to like stretch my stomach <laughs> so my plans are to go to a coffee shop um and you know what's so cool is I'm right next to Trinity College and that's like literally so close and um that's another reason why I came here one was the Christmas lights Two was to see Trinity. Um, well, also to see Dublin in general. I mean, there's so many reasons I came. But Trinity was on my list. And so I do really want to walk around Trinity um, and explore. I have something tomorrow at Trinity, though. I have the Book of Kells tour. Um, and I really want to listen to Irish public radio, so that's what I was trying to show you on my phone. I'm a public radio nerd for sure, and I want to hear Irish news and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to try to find that. Um, but I imagine that I will not be heading out to a coffee shop until maybe like eight seven or no probably like 7 30 they i don't know we'll have to see what time they open since it's a sunday like i don't know if they're slower on sundays and they open a little bit later um but dude i'm obsessed with the irish accent like i keep hearing it in my head and i'm like it's so oh my god and like i i was saying people are really really friendly here like so far of all the european countries i've visited like friendliness number one has so far been um, Dublin, like, everybody's extremely polite, like, really polite and well-mannered, um, and just kind, like, just really kind and welcoming, so, yeah, I'm super impressed, um, but I'm gonna dress warm today and, uh, wear my rain jacket, probably, um, and I have a really cute checkered scarf to go with it, so, um, but first I'm going to look up the coffee shop that I'm planning on going to and the, I'm also going to go to some bookstores today because, um, I need to buy postcards and I'm hoping tomorrow on Monday I can send out my postcards. Um, and I'm going to work on this vlog so I can try to get it up for you guys. Um, we'll see what the hotel wi-fi is like i'm using it on my phone and it doesn't seem bad so far so hopefully i could like upload a video overnight or something but yeah i'm trying to kind of do a lot today um but i think i'm going to start off with making some tay um <laughs> i just learned how to say cup of tea in irish i want to say it's like coupa tay coupon <laughs> not coupon <laughs> um yeah so I think I'm gonna do tea because I'm trying to live the experience and they have such cute little cups right here so let's try that look at how adorable these teacups are they're so pretty 
Um, I'm still trying to figure out the focus on my camera, but anyways, they have such a pretty textured material. So let's make some tea. Alright guys, I ate some lunch and um, did some work at that coffee shop and now I'm off to go explore a bookstore before I go on a food tour and I just wanted to show you my jacket that I got from ASOS. Thank God I brought this. I almost didn't. I almost just brought my coat, but I was like, people in big cities wear puffers. <laughs> a, to keep warm, and B, because of the rain. And I have a little hood on it too. So thank goodness. I feel like I look so cute too. Like, I'm loving my little style. While I'm in Dublin, um, so yeah, I'm off to a bookstore. My dad really wants me to buy him some t-shirts and some books. And I'm hoping to get postcards from my friends and what other little presents I find. Um, and everything's so walkable. So I'm going to go walk and explore some more. So I'll see you later. Guys, I didn't get to leave yet because the bookstore doesn't open until 1030. And it's only 10 o'clock. So um, anyways, I wanted to check in and say that I'm super proud of myself because I talked about it on TikTok a little bit. And by the way, my my TikTok is Sailor Poppy 999 if you want to follow me. But anyways, I traveled when I was 19. That was the last time I've been out of the country. And I had some serious trauma happen to me when I was traveling. And since then, I developed a sincere anxiety associated with that trauma, and I began to associate my irresponsibility as me not being capable of traveling. Um, and truly, I love my past self so much, I want to give her the biggest hug in the world. She was really going through it, but equally true is I actually was very irresponsible. I mean, I was 19, I don't know if others can relate. I think this can be different for many people, but I truly did not have a care in the world at 19. I was very irresponsible. I don't think that I struggled with anxiety in the same way back then and so my traveling was very careless and um shocking <laughs> like it's shocking how much i wasn't worried about a thing in some ways that's really freeing but in other ways it leads to trouble and challenges when you're traveling and I just want to say, at 27 years old, I'm so much more grown up, and I'm enjoying 
my travel a thousand times more because I'm so responsible now. I'm not the most responsible person in the world. Things happen, but like everything has gone so smoothly. I have planned everything really well and I've like seriously made the effort to ensure that you know I know where I'm going I have my address written down I have phone numbers I need to call I have directions my phone is charged um I share with people what's going on like before I would just not be that prepared and it would lead to like trouble when I was trying to explore so anyways all to say I'm really proud of how far I've come and equally with my anxiety because of my depression I st struggle with fatigue which means that I get tired faster and more often than the average person and not really physically tired but more mentally tired and I have to take breaks and I used to on the other extreme of my travel spectrum I used to stay in my hotel only and not explore and not go out because I was so fatigued and I would shame myself for it but I think now I've actually found a way is to give myself the per permission to rest after I walk out the door. If I can just give myself the chance to walk out the door and go try something, if at any point during that time period I feel fatigued, I'm giving myself the permission to go back to my hotel and rest. And I think that's fantastic. That's all I could ever want is to just be flexible with my with my chronic illness, you know? So anyways, it's just, I'm really putting a lot of things into perspective about how far I've come on this journey. And thank goodness for growing up, y'all. I love like being older. And I know it's just like traveling just really has a perspective shift. Like I was just opening up to y'all about how hard 27 is. And now I'm feeling intense gratitude for what 27 has brought me. And that's just the ebbs and flows of life. freaking spent i had so much fun today i'm so proud of myself because i got everything on my list done that i wanted to do i went to a coffee shop i got a lot of work done i went to trinity college so that's a bunch of clips that i showed you at trinity and i had so much fun there i don't know if i'm going to be able to say everything that i want to say in this clip right now because i'm so spent I got back from the bookstore that I showed you and I called my dad, which was so lovely. I love my dad so much. I talk about him so much <laughs> all the time. And even on the food tour, I met two friends, two girls who were also solo traveling. They were not together. One was from London and the other one was from North Carolina. And I had a blast talking with them. And I got both of their numbers, and maybe we'll go to the Christmas market together. Um, so that'll be really cute. But 
I will put some like little deets in the videos that I show you. And also, if you want to follow my TikTok, it's at Sailor, S A I L O R, Poppy, P O P P Y, nine, the number 999. I'll put it on the screen. If you want to follow me on TikTok, I put my food tour video on there. So I went into a little bit more detail. But the host was really funny. He was Scottish and he had a thick accent, but I could understand him very well. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. Only I would realize until we're halfway to get an Irish coffee that it has whiskey in it. I completely forgot about that. And I just had them make mine without whiskey, which was really nice. It was so delicious. Um, but anyways, it was so fun and I got to go to a bookstore and, um, I will insert a picture of the books that I picked up and what I bought, um, in the side right there. And I, I'm trying to remember if there's any more details. I ended up telling my sister all about it. But yeah, oh, and I bought a bunch of postcards that I'm going to mail tomorrow. And I just wanna say it's so fun to be a solo traveler because you literally get to decide whatever you want um, and you get to uh, like leave when you want, you get to go out when you want without asking anybody anything or seeing if they're up to it and you get to meet people like I don't think it's I will not say this is true about all people okay I'm just reporting my experience but I noticed when I go travel with a partner a romantic interest um I tend to get fixated on them and we just are in a little bubble and I don't really converse with people like a ton but when I solo travel, I like talk a lot and I get to meet new people and have fun. And even the couples that were like on our food tour were a little bit more on the quiet side when they were together. And I'm like, I get it because when I travel with other people, even with friends, I'm like, I just talk to you so much. I don't really have anything else to say. You know what I'm saying? Look, here's where I can show you my nails and how they actually look i realize the trick to this is you have to be patient for it to focus but aren't those really really cute i love them so much um anyways and yeah dude trinity is so cute and the other thing about solo traveling is you get to like over listen to other people's conversations so i got to listen to a dude like complaining about his professor and I'm like, oh, to be in college again. Um, I remember those days. And then I got to like listen to these two girls at the coffee shops talking about boys and what kind of boy her friend can find and like what she deserves. And like, it was so cute. Like that's really fun about solo traveling too is you get to like be a listener and you get to like really experience everything that's going around you. So 10 out of 10 day, I'm gonna end the video here. This was Ireland day one and a half. One full day and a half a day yesterday. Um, and tomorrow I have even more in store. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I am so happy to be delivering you some Ireland content and this will not be the last vlog of me traveling. You will see me travel some more. I feel like I'm being really sassy. <laughs> um, but yeah, what a treat guys. I'll see you in the next video.